Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about how Quant could be at the centre of finance within the UK. So we'll be going through a fantastic thread of tweets provided by Greg Lunt, where he went into detail surrounding how the UK is transitioning their financial services to a more crypto orientated economy, where the article was entitled Britain kicks off post Brexit transformation of finance. And the article provided details in regards to how the nation is looking to become more competitive in terms of the financial sector compared to other nations around the world where the UK's financial sector is looking to completely transform and roll out a number of new innovations to improve workflow surrounding finance post Brexit. So of the number of developments the UK Treasury and the Bank of England are looking to implement into the wider UK economy includes stablecoins, crypto assets and the usage of cryptocurrencies for payment systems and infrastructure. So in instances surrounding stablecoin usage, Quant could be at the centre of such developments and frameworks, where a number of figureheads within the financial sphere across a number of nations around the world have earmarked how stablecoin interoperability will become increasingly more important, especially as more nations seek to roll out and leverage stablecoins into their overall economies, where the following clip features the US controller of currency, Michael Su, where again he details to the importance of stablecoin interoperability and and what this will mean for the wider financial sphere. On interoperability, this is one that I think deserves a lot more attention because I've been reading a lot about the history of the internet and how did we come up with the internet as we know it today? Because it's this kind of fantastic open thing. It didn't come out of nowhere. There was a very concerted standard setting set of processes. So to me, what's the standard setting body for interoperability on stablecoin? There is none right now. So as detailed by Sue, interoperability surrounding stablecoins will become increasingly more important. So despite Sue stating that there isn't an innovation that provides universal interoperability surrounding stablecoins, he actually detailed to a collaboration currently occurring at the IETF, where the IETF are a global standards body which is seeking to implement and conduct research surrounding stablecoin interoperability. So as part of the clip featuring Sue, coupled with the IETF, detailing to the importance of stablecoin interoperability. These factors can be all compounded through the benefits surrounding Quant's innovations, most notably its MLT stablecoin, where Quant's MLT stablecoin comes with a number of benefits in terms of providing, again, universal interoperability, especially in providing the ability for future fiat CBDCs to interconvert at a given time. So with Quant's innovations in this instance, MLT being a means of providing universal interoperability, especially between fiat currencies, these benefits could be transitioned and taken advantage of in terms of the utility of stablecoins within a wider marketplace and economy. And this may lead to the UK seeking to use Quant's innovations in this case, MLT, to improve stablecoin developments across their wider marketplace. So again, it's not definitively clear whether the UK will actively use Quant stablecoins, but with the benefits provided by MLT, again in terms of interoperability, Quant could be a viable option for such initiatives and frameworks and developments. So another initiative Quant could be involved in within the UK, especially within the UK's payment system and financial sector, is the utility and the overall implementation of Quant's Overledger ODAP offering within payment system protocols at the Bank of England, where the following article and publication was published by the World Economic Forum in a paper entitled Payments Interoperability, where the paper provided details in regards to the need for interoperability frameworks to be harnessed and leveraged to provide connectivity between CBDC ledgers provided by a central bank and legacy payment infrastructure, especially surrounding the banking sector and electronic payment organisations. So the active leveraging of an API gateway between future CBDC ledgers and legacy payment systems can only be done so through the benefits surrounding one innovation on the marketplace, where Quant's Overledger is the only current innovation that provides universal interoperability between DLTs and legacy systems. So with the need to roll out an overarching API 
gateway. Quant's overledge could be a viable means of enabling such actions to arise. So again, this could be another indication of how the UK and the Bank of England may seek to harness the benefits surrounding Quant's innovations in this instance overledger to improve financial activities which arise across the wider UK marketplace. So as well as the potential utility of Quant's offerings, be it Quant's MLT stablecoin or overledger, the Bank of England also indicated how the recent crypto crash could be compared to the dot-com crash and the central bank also detailed as to how the crypto crash survivors could become tomorrow's Amazons. So the recent crypto crash coupled with a number of nations around the world seeking to roll out regulatory frameworks across marketplaces. This could see more regulatory compliant projects on the marketplace being one of few survivors of the overall crypto crash where Quant is one project on the marketplace that provides universal regulatory frameworks. So with the number of intrinsic qualities surrounding Quant's initiatives and technologies, be it Quant's MLT stablecoin, its overledger ODAP offering, coupled with its highly regulated nature. This could lead to Quant being one of three projects of financial developments which arise around the world. What are your thoughts on Quant? Do you think Quant will be at the centre of financial activities which arise around the world? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.